What up, peeps? KG Drifty in the building, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some Black Ops 3 information today. And before I start with this video, I wanted to let you guys know that I apologize for being inactive for like almost a month. I've been extremely busy, you know, uh, with school, stuff like that. And not only that, I've just kind of been a little bit lazy making videos, but you know, it, it, it is what it is. But I'm here, and I'm back, and I'm about to be bringing you guys more content as ever. It's just, I'm kind of be step, kind of slowing. And just going a little bit off due to like school stuff and testing and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try my best to make awesome content for you guys as much as I can. And I, I'm just keep trying to make it top level and top best. So just stick with me, you guys, and trust me, we'll get through this. But in this thing, we're gonna be talking about this new leaked information, unconfirmed leaked information about Black Ops 3. And we all know Call of Duty is coming really, 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 really soon. And Towards and you know since it's April and then May we will we we get Call of Duty information like from the companies and stuff videos teasers and all that towards this month and next so and not only that we have E3 coming up as well so it, it's it's like it's a big big rush and I just it's, it's just gonna be blowing up with a lot of you know Call of Duty information rumors and stuff like that so you know we we just gotta stick with it and I just I just cannot wait to see you know what Treyarch is gonna bring to the table and compare it to like you know last Call of Duty. Events were for sucked ass. I hate it so much. But yeah, but I just can't wait. But yeah, I looked up. I did some research on uh, leaked information and what we might be having in Black Ops 3. And I came across some good information. Like I said, none of this stuff. Some of the stuff is unconfirmed. Well, it is unconfirmed. But we're not. We're not sure that a le oh, half of the stuff is legit. I mean, maybe some of the stuff you can see in a Call of Duty game, but it may it may not be legit. But yeah, but we're gonna start down to. Uh, Number one on the list, and uh, that says next gen only, different source. Uh, and you know, a lot of companies are kind of working to like making all our games just next gen only instead of bringing it back to current gen because, and maybe another year or another year or two actually, next gen will probably be out of style and no one will basically, everyone, everyone will probably have a PS4 by then. You know, they're gonna stop making games for next gen. You know, people who want to support the um, people who want to not next gen, but people who want to support current gen. They're gonna, you know, probably make a little bit more, but current gen is gonna be out of luck. So maybe sometime in the future it will just be next gen only. But you know, we'll see when it happens. Uh, next one is campaign looks gorgeous, better than Advanced Warfare. This may be the case. I can see that in the next Call of Duty game, especially if it's only for next gen only. But I mean, Advanced Warfare's campaign looks would look awesome. I really liked it. I think it was good. But I mean. Campaign might look actually really really good not even might it will because next gen and if it's only for next gen It might look way better than it did, you know, but yeah, can't so excited for that next one campaign to be an open world But still linear now. That's something. I don't think should happen I mean come on now Call of Duty never been you know an open world type game when it comes to story modes you know, It's always been you know keep going with the mission 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 whatever they or escorted you to and with so I don't think that should be something new that should add I, I mean me personally an open world don't really seem too good for a Call of Duty game in my opinion I like, usually that to other different games but Call of Duty is one of them games it's like a story you have to be direct with it you can't just make it open for everyone to do and any everything you know what I mean especially if people are not even gonna play campaign as much but yeah, next one is Jetpacks N or XOs, and I'm not really too happy about that. I mean, like I said, it's unconfirmed, but if they ever bring this to the thing, I'm not going to get this game because XO sucked. I hate it. A lot of people liked it. I mean, it was all right, but it's, not, it's something that is good for a Call of Duty game, but I don't think it should be it should be brought back to the series. I mean, it don't feel like Call of Duty. It feels like some other type of game, you know what I mean? So it don't... That shouldn't, exos and double jumping and boosts and jeffy, that shouldn't even be in a Call of Duty game. Because it don't feel like a Call of Duty game. It feels like a, a different game of its own. So, yeah, I don't uh, I don't really think about that. Next one, switch to different characters in single player like GTA V. Exosuits will have a wall running ability. thing I like about this, I don't like, I mean, even if they do bring exos, I don't like the idea of uh, bringing off of another company's idea. I mean, even though Sledgehammer... We had copied almost half of the ideas from uh, Treyarch on Black Ops 2. And I don't think, like I said, like, like I said before on the uh, on Jetpacks and Exo, I don't think Exo should be should be a returning thing in Call of Duty because it don't feel like a Call of Duty game. I mean, it was something good to be brought, something new and different, but it's something that shouldn't be brought back again. I mean, it's, it's, like I said, it's just, it just feels like a totally different game. So, yeah, that's what I mean. Our next one, zombies to have standalone map packs, Ray, Raven to assist, I don't know what that is. Custom map, 
editor for private lobbies only an ability to share now that right there would be amazing really really amazing I mean that would be something extremely new that they can bring to Call of Duty itself I mean I've been always thought of always thought about you know them making a custom map creator for zombies so people will like when you go on PC people have custom zombie maps and maybe they bring it to platforms and ga gaming people can make them custom zombie maps and then it would be awesome on uh, you know everybody just have a fun time on zombies instead of playing the same thing so I think custom map editor will be an amazing thing to bring to Call of Duty but like I say it might not come but who knows but I think that would be really good but it might take up a lot of the game I mean a lot of you know megabyte gigabytes and stuff like that next one pick 13 returning but no upgrade store streaks i can see that in you know the next call of duty game but upgradable score streaks, i think that was like a real good perfect thing especially with uh sledgehammer did like to like change and make the score streak system different I, I think that was really really good of them to do that i think it was something fun something new to be brought to the table so i mean even though we even if they don't bring upgrade source it would really be cool to even see to see them bring that back to the next game i think it would be really really good but either way it goes either way i just hope the kill streaks be effective besides from advanced warfare and goes Advanced warfare had effective score streak but there was a little bit too op some of them like uh system hack and warbird even warbird barely did anything goliath sucked so i just hope when they do bring stuff i hope the score streak actually be good and then you know just don't won't be a waste of the time you know all right next one dynamic weather and ele elements on all maps this time raid and newtown remakes maps are larger than advanced warfare 16 v 16 and 32 v 32 now 16 16 on 16 and 32 on 32 that's something that would be really really big especially how call of duty servers are actually is i don't think that should be something they should bring because you know call of, call of duty servers are a bit shit like really shit i mean it depends on the internet but even if you do even if you have good internet it still lags and bullshit sometimes but 16 v 16 and 32 v 32 that's something that shouldn't be brought because it'll just be a straight lag fest and then everyone will just get pissed off all of a sudden so that's something i don't really you know want to be brought to this game this should be like to another game like battle battlefield it works well with that battlefield barely lags i, I guess i mean for me it don't but that at least should leave it to like an open like that type of war game not for call of duty it just just wouldn't feel right i mean it would be cool with the brain but i don't know to see how they work that out maps are larger than advanced warfare i can see that happening but i don't think that would be really really good. i mean because advanced warfare maps they were big to an extent but on some things, it just didn't feel, you know, like the maps didn't feel, how can I say, it, it didn't have a flow to it. So, like, you know, you just, it just, like, smooth type gameplay, smooth fluid movement and stuff like that when it came to the map. The map just seemed too crammed up. It didn't feel like, it didn't feel like it was smooth enough and flow. It didn't have that flow for you to, like, enjoy the maps. I think the maps was, like, just playing dull. I think it got bored from really quickly. And I, I just didn't think it was really good. So, I mean... The maps can be larger, but I just hope that they make the maps have that type of flow to where everyone likes. Because, I mean, a lot of, back in, you know, Call of Duty Ghost, the maps didn't feel as fun and fluid as Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 and World at War and Black Ops maps felt. You know what I mean? So I just hope that they make the maps feel fluid and more fun. Depending on what the map size is, just make it to the point where no one get bored and, you know, bring, like, them them death dynamic things like them random cracks and stuff like that. I, don't, I don't want that it's dumb so i hope they make it good if they do make maps bigger i hope it be it has a flow to it instead of you know it being dull and boring and not fluid as you want it to be so i hope that they you know make that make that better as it does and yeah, I, I just hope that they change that up. And then Raid and Nuketown remakes. About that, I, I mean, I really love remake maps. I think that's a really good idea to, like, bring back everybody's COD favorite maps to the game. But, I mean, me personally, I mean, I think Nuketown would be good in Raid. But uh, I always thought that they'd be good for people, for their, you know, for their uh, for the players to actually decide what maps they want to be brought back. Like, have, like, a list of what different maps they want to be brought back from different previous Call of Duty games and stuff like that. I think that would be really amazing. To, for them to do that for people and just probably do that like every one every like once a dlc every new dlc comes out probably have like a little list of what people want to vote on to bring back on maps i think that'd be a really good thing to bring back but who knows i mean they might do that who might not but either way it goes i think it'll be i'll be really excited for you know remake especially raid in newtown but yeah that's all that's it for this video you guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit 
the like button and to show some support to the video. Also, subscribe if you want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 3, if that's the name of the next Call of Duty, but Black Ops 3 leak information or, you know, just new Call of Duty information in general and other games like that, tips and tricks, etc. So, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More videos will come in soon. Also, uh, if you guys want to look at the links to this article, it will be in the description below. And not only that, comment below and let me know you guys, uh, you guys is, you know, let me know you guys' opinions about the new link, the, like the link information, the leaked information about, you know, all the stuff that I just read and what you guys think about it and like what you guys are looking forward to in the next Call of Duty. So I hope you guys enjoy it. More videos coming soon. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out, you guys. Peace. Live life to the fullest. Happy Easter, and I'm out.